Welcome everybody to day two of VOD RV and Airstream with DFW's virtual RV show. My name is Anthony Miller. I'll be your host. Yesterday was a great success. We hope to continue that today. Today is going to be fast paced and a lot of fun. Just like yesterday, if something catches your eye, if you get excited about one of these RV, RVs, we're going to have salespeople standing by live to answer your questions and hopefully make you a part of the VOD family. We're also going to do another great giveaway today. Taylor, tell the people with the register to win. Thanks so much, Anthony. Today's giveaway is the Cummins Onan 2500 Suitcase Generator. It has a retail value of $749. The generator was designed to go wherever you do. The runtime is 10 hours. That's a lot of power in a lightweight package. Back to you, Anthony. Thanks, Taylor. We have a special guest today. We have Justin Humphrey, CEO of Airstream. Justin, what are things like there at Airstream? Thanks, Anthony. This is Justin Humphreys at Airstream. As you can see, we're working. This is the, Air, this is the Airstream Base Camp production line. And we're building up for lots of new lucky customers all over the country right now. We are thrilled to have Airstream of DFW as a partner of ours down in that important market. And uh, we're excited about this new virtual show. I think it speaks to this whole new world we're in. I mean, we're, we're here with, with masks and protective uh, equipment for, for all of our associates. Uh, we're building these Airstreams safely, and um, I got to tell you, sales have been fantastic considering everything going on. I think it goes to show that this is a great way to travel right now, uh, to get out with your family, get outdoors where it's, it's healthy, and, and do things together. Um, and I got to tell you, sales have, have really shown for that because uh, the Airstream orders just keep coming in. So I want to thank the entire team back at Airstream DFW. I wish I was there in person, but what better way than to be there digitally? So. Thank you for all of your support. I hope many of you buy a new Airstream and go on uh, a new adventure very soon. And uh, thank you for your business. Back to you, Anthony. Thanks, Justin. We really appreciate you taking time out of your busy schedule to talk to us today. We are going to start the day, obviously, with the Airstreams. Uh, we're going to do a couple of the non-traditional Airstream lines with Scott Hunter. Scott, take it away. Thanks, Anthony. Hi, guys. I'm Scott Hunter with Airstream of DFW. Have you ever thought about living the RV lifestyle? I'm sure you have. Seeing what America has to offer, visiting our state parks, our national parks. Well, we're here to make that dream come true. And why not do it in an Airstream? Airstream's a very proven company with 89 years of rich history. We're going to start with a couple of their non-traditional units. And the first one we have on the block right here is the Airstream Nest 16U. At just 16 feet, 7 inches long, a light 3,400 pounds empty with a gross carrying capacity of 4,000 pounds. It's easily towed by the smallest of SUVs. It sleeps two people comfortably, and it has all the creature comforts you'd want out of a trailer. Why don't you follow me inside and we'll take a look. As you see on the Airstream Nest, the door is in the back of the trailer. It has plenty of space for such a small trailer. You'll see in the front as we walk in, you'll see a dinette that seats many. If you're on a nice camping trip and you've got some friends with you, you can certainly play a game of cards. And this dinette's gonna convert into a queen size bed, so easy, comfortable sleeping for two. This trailer's gonna contain everything that you're used to having in your home, an air conditioner, a furnace. This thing even has a 60,000 BTU continuous flow water heater, so when you're taking a shower at your campground, you're going to have hot water for days to come. You've got a refrigerator, microwave, stove sink, all the kitchen appliances to cook that great meal. And you're also going to have a full bathroom and shower. So why live like a savage when you can camp and see the world in an Airstream nest? What we'll look at next is we're going to look at the base camp, another non-traditional trailer. All right, guys, we can certainly see the base camps coming down the pipe. The base camp is also a small trailer, only 16 feet, 3 inches in size, and really meant for the off-road adventure that you can enjoy. Where most of the Airstreams are meant to hang out at a campsite, the base camp will take you off-road so you can primitively camp wherever you like. The base camp is simple. It's going to have a side door for entry, but it's also going to have a rear door kind of like the nest. Let's walk around and take a peek. With this rear door, this allows this to almost be used just like a cargo trailer. You could fit your mountain bikes in, your kayak. You can just see yourself out on the river now. The two benches convert into a large, almost king-size bed. Let's walk around inside and take a peek. 
We're going to see inside another full kitchen with all the appliances, sink, stove, refrigerator, microwave. You know, somebody asked me one time, they said, hey, does a bear go to the bathroom in the woods? Well, you know what? It sure does. But you don't have to because inside the base camp, we've got a full bathroom and shower. This particular base camp that we're looking at is the Base Camp X. X stands for extreme excitement. The Base Camp X is going to have a little bit higher lift kit, and we'll see that it gives you all the ground clearance you're going to need when you're traveling a little bit off the beaten path. Well, this is the Base Camp, and I want to emphasize our operators, our, our salespeople are standing by on Zoom and in our chat room, so any questions you have, let us know. Uh, also, we've got sale prices like you've never seen going right now. So this is the two non-traditional trailers, the Nest and the Base Camp. We'll carry on and, and see the Bambi next. Thanks, Scott. We'll be right back after a short break. I've always been told in the RV business that we sell something that people want. We don't sell anything that they need, and, and it's kind of widely regarded as, yeah, I guess that's right. You know, you need a vehicle to get around, but you don't need an RV. Um, and then it just dawned on me that I think you do. It may not be an RV, it could be something else, but I think that people miss out on having fun. Uh, I think we go to work, we pay our bills, and we think one day we'll do this. We squeeze out a week every year, you know, if you're lucky, maybe two, and, and go on a vacation. But even in my life, I like to be able to, you know, get my family out, and I've got young children, and I want to explain to them the world through my eyes and, and through our family and, and uh, teach them you know, what our morals are and our ethics and, and integrity. And it's hard to get an audience with children these days with tablets and everything else, but in an RV, I get an audience and we get to see places. You know, we live here in Texas, it's really hot, not a lot of snow, but I can go find snow. Um, uh, in Dallas-Fort Worth, there's not an ocean, but I can go to an ocean. Um, so it just gives us freedom. And really day one, it just means make it a priority and don't think one day, tomorrow is not promised. And whether somebody comes to get an RV from us or from somebody else, or they decide to get a boat or, or anything, what, whatever it is, whatever your dream is, whatever you're saying one day, um, I would just encourage you to turn that into today's day one. I'm gonna find it, and I'm gonna do it, and I'm, I'm gonna go out there and force myself to have a good time. And all of us understand that the goal is to get people out there having fun, and we wanna do everything that we can to help. Hey guys, before we get to the Bambies, I want to talk to you a little bit about Airstream in general. Uh, I get the question a lot, why Airstream? A lot of people who, who see these trailers, they see the price on their trailers, they're a premium price trailer, they don't quite understand why they are what they are. Well, this is the reason they are what they are. This is a 1963 Overlander. I can't imagine any other brand out there that people would still be camping in 50 years after it's produced. These things last like you wouldn't believe. Uh, the statistic is 65% of everything Airstream has built since 1931 is still on the road. That is, that is a crazy statistic, 65% since 1931. I can't imagine any other trailer being anywhere close to that. You're looking at something that's built completely different than anything else that's out there. And even though this is a 63, the technology is not a lot different than it is today. Uh, you're looking at all aluminum structure, you're looking at all aluminum sheeting on the outside, you're looking at all riveted construction on the outside. A lot of the problems that you have with a traditional RV when it comes to the roof, when it comes to the windows, when it comes to just leaking in general, um, you don't have that with an Airstream. So it's really just a super unique product that we are super proud to sell here at Airstream at DFW. And guys, we want to thank Mr. Kiger for letting us use his trailer in the show today. That was really kind of him. Um, we're going to have one more flash sale we're going to go to. Let's go over to Taylor and see what we got for sale. Thanks, Anthony. Over the next 15 minutes, we'll be offering a flash sale on our Solo Stoves. The Solo Stove is all stainless steel. These bad boys are fueled by small logs and offers all the benefits of a wood-burning fire without the smoke. Call the number below and get 15% off any of our in-stock stoves. Back to you, Anthony. Thanks, Taylor. We're going to go back to Scott and see some of the more traditional Airstreams now. All right, everybody. That 1963 trailer that Anthony showed us was sure spectacular, but I'm going to one-up him. I'm going to take you back to 1961. That's when the Airstream Bambi was actually founded. And here it is, all these many years later, still as a very popular trailer. The Airstream Bambies remain the same, simple, lightweight, really what the pure Airstreamer would like. 
This particular model is the 19CB. The CB stands for corner bed, which we'll see when we go inside. The actual length of this trailer is approximately 18 feet and 11 inches. So really short and small, and you can get it in any campsite anywhere. The weight, easily manageable. Weighs just a hair over 3,600 pounds with a gross vehicle weight rating of 5,000. So again, your smaller SUV or truck, it's easy to tow. Well, let's go inside and take a look at what the Bambi has to offer. With our traditional Airstreams, we're going to find at least two sleeping areas. We're going to have that corner bed that was signified in the model number. And up front, we're going to have a dinette that seats four folks, but also will convert into an additional sleeping area. As with all the Airstreams, we're going to have all the comforts of home, all the kitchen appliances, the air conditioning, the furnace. But I want to show you this unique bathroom. When we get to this size, we're going to have a bathroom that's going to have a separate toilet and a separate shower, something a little more comfortable for most. This little marvel of engineering right here is quite neat. As you see, when the door to the bathroom's closed, I've got more room to work around the bed. But should I need to go into the restroom, it opens nice and wide. You see a very ample shower. In fact, it's, it's a shower made for a real man. Now, when you want to enter the bathroom, which I'll show you how the door works here in just a second, you'll fold the door the opposite way. What amazing engineering. So now you're going to have plenty of room in a nice private bath. So when you're going out to the woods and you want to get a glimpse of Bambi, why don't you do it in your Airstream Bambi? Well, let's go take a look at some of the other products. Follow me. I'm looking down the row here, and you know they say that luxury comes in small packages. No, I'm not talking about me. I'm talking about the new Airstream Caravel. So here it comes. Let's take a look. Have you ever seen anything so cute in your entire life? 16 feet of pure joy. The Caravelle's lightweight and nimble. It weighs in at about 3,400 pounds with a gross vehicle weight rating of 4,300 pounds. You see, again, easily towed by a small SUV. The Caravelle is meant to give you all of the luxury that you see in the larger Airstreams. Some differences over the Bambi. You're going to see the protective steel rock guards on the front. You're going to see upgraded steps, upgraded awnings. You're also going to find that this small unit even has a ducted, quiet air conditioning system. Let's go in and see this little gym. As you come inside, it's hard to believe everything is in this small space. You've got a wonderful bed with a beautiful panoramic window in the back. All those views of the lake are open to you. And as we turn around to the front, here's another nice booth. Seating for four with another beautiful panoramic window up front. As always, this booth will convert into an additional sleeping area. We have a full uh, supply of kitchen appliances here. Upgraded gas stove, microwave, refrigerator, even a vena hood. Wow, this is an Italian-made vena hood, something you'd only see in some of the finest homes. We're also going to have that full bathroom. We're not savages here. We're going to be able to camp in luxury and shower and go to the bathroom in our trailer instead of in the woods. Amazing. Well, this is the smallest of the Caravels. What we're going to look at next is their very largest. So let's go outside and take a look at this final Caravel. We can see the next Caravel coming up. The Caravelle is the 22FB. The FB stands for front bed. Again, a single axle trailer, so we know the weight's light. You're going to have an empty weight of about 4,100 pounds with a gross vehicle weight rating of 5,000. You might need a little bit bigger truck for this one, but I'm telling you, once you see the room inside, you're going to be glad you bought it. So let's go inside and take a look at this Caravelle. Come on. So you can see inside, so you can see inside, yeah, that's an echo. That's how large this trailer is. Look at the size of the bed. We finally got into a bed that's 54 inches wide. So perfect for two people with all the comfort. Again, we're going to see a dinette that converts into another sleeping area. So sleeping for four. 
we're going to see a spacious kitchen with a three-burner stove, double sink, and how about a convection microwave? We can bake those cookies and those biscuits right here in the trailer. And if you turn around, you're going to see one of the largest bathrooms in any of the small trailers. You'll see a porcelain toilet. You'll see a beautiful walk-in shower with a glass door. Just amazing Airstream quality everywhere you look. So get out there and see what America's got to offer. Do it in Airstream's brand new 2020 Caravel. All right, well that's the small lineup of trailers. I uh, hope you enjoyed them. We're gonna be bringing some larger models up here in just a little bit. And now we're gonna turn it over to Anthony. Thanks, Scott. Our next guest really doesn't need any introduction, but I'm going to do it anyway. It's Gordon Keith. He's a DFW superstar, a radio host of the Musers. He's one of our writers here for our newspapers. Thank you for joining us, Gordon. I appreciate it. Absolutely. Thank you, Anthony, for having me. He's actually an Airstream owner as well, so mm -hmm. that's uh, really special to us. Hey, uh, what made you decide Airstream? Well, my dream of Airstream goes way back to when I was a, a kid and saw one out on the highway when I, when I was young and just was fascinated by the shape of it and, uh, and asked what that was and was told it was an Airstream and that always stuck in my mind. And then when I got old enough to, to finally own one, uh, I knew that I was going to become an Airstream owner because to me, Airstream is like, uh, it's like the Fender Stratocaster, Fender Telecaster, or Les Paul. It's, it's like they nailed the design way back decades ago, and it's still just as current and relevant today as it was when they first invented the thing. So to me, it's a piece of Americana that almost can't be improved upon. I agree. I couldn't agree more. So uh, had any good trips with your family? Oh, yeah, yeah. We've taken uh, some great trips, uh, in, including ones even close by, just taking it to Possum Kingdom Lake and, and gathering up the crew and, and heading out in the Airstream, and it's, it's just always fun because... And it's our, it's our house on wheels, you know, and, uh, and it has that same feel, of course. I, and I spent a lot of time trying to decide which one I wanted to get. And Lord knows these guys got sick of me uh, being in the showroom here for hours and hours on end. I probably lived here about two weeks before I made my decision. But that was the great thing about Airstream DFW is they let you make the right decision. Well, that's not abnormal. You know, a lot no, of people, right. when they're spending this kind of money, they want to make sure they do it right the first time. So mm -hmm. thank you so much. Absolutely. Thank you. All right, guys, we've got a quick video now about our VOD RV's prep process, and then we'll be right back. Hey, guys, Anthony here with VOD RV. Today I want to talk to you about our prep process and what that means to you, our customer. Every travel trailer, fifth wheel, and motorhome that comes through VOD RV goes through a 144-point inspection process. Everything from the propane and water systems, smoke detectors and ice makers, ignition systems and thermostat operations, air conditioners and stabilizing jacks. All of the external and internal components are thoroughly inspected to ensure that you not only have a great delivery process, but you can make adventures for years to come. So you may be asking yourself, what does this 144 point inspection cost? Here at Vaught RV, Anywhere you see a price advertised, whether it's at our website at VaughnRV.com, whether it's at our dealership, anywhere that you see a price posted, that fee is included. Here at VaughnRV, our goal is to be completely transparent with you, our customer. We don't want to charge you anything extra once the deal is consummated. And that may not be the case with some other dealers you work with. You may be very excited about a price they give you, get in that closing office, and now they're charging you extra fees. We are never going to do that at VaughnRV. Guys, shop with confidence at VaughnRV.com. Or come visit us at our dealership. We're just five miles east of downtown Fort Worth. Come let us help you start your next RV adventure. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. We're back now. We're going to go to Jeff. We're going to see the flying clouds. Take it away, Jeff. Thanks, Anthony. My name is Jeff. I'm with Airstream of DFW. and Today, I get the privilege of showing you a 23-foot bunk bed flying cloud model. It comes in at a weight of about 4,700 pounds with a 6,000 pound gross, and it amazingly sleeps seven people. A couple of things that we do here at Vought RV, we do upgraded AGM batteries for all of our guests that'll last five to seven times longer. We have 15 inch tires. And as we come back to the back, you'll see here an amazing awning that stretches the entire length. Come on in, we'll go inside and I'll show you some amazing features. 
first of all, you want to start off with this amazing dinette, which, of course, folds down and sleeps too. The corner bed also offers these amazing views, the panoramic windows. You also have a wonderful pull-out sleeping area that'll sleep two more. One of my favorite parts in any RV is the kitchen, which you have lots of space. A wonderful gas oven. A new flush countertop. A convection oven, microwave oven as well. Then you have a corner bed, bunk bed as well, and the amazing, spacious, big boy approved bathroom with a folding door that folds two different ways to give you more room on the inside and more room on the outside. Now I'd like to show you a wonderful 25 foot flying cloud. Guys, don't forget, if you're looking for a sale, I know everybody calls me every day wanting a great value. Now's the time to call this number and get the best sales of the year. Well, this model is the 25-foot Flying Cloud. It comes in at about 5,700 pounds with a 7,300 pound gross. This model in particular is half of all of Airstream sales. And I'm gonna show you why, come on. As we enter, you can see the luscious space that drops down. The dinette table can sleep too. The pullout table here sleeps two more, so that's why you're able to get six. Now, one thing that I love to show you is that this is a convection oven, and unlike what most people think, you can actually cook biscuits in it. We have a wonderful pantry that pulls out and has great space. One of the other models that we like about this is going to be the twin beds. Twin beds are 80 inches long, so that's five inches longer than your traditional RV queen. So as you can see, you have a lot of spacious room in the bedroom. Now our next model is going to be a 30-foot bunk that's going to be presented by Gordon Keith. All right, now this next one is the 30-foot uh, front bedroom flying cloud. This is the one. This is the one. This is the one that you want. If you've got a family or you're going to travel with a lot of people, this thing has multiple bedroom areas. Of course, pulled by this beautiful truck here with the American flag. So very patriotic. As it comes up, look at the majesty. Look at the majesty of the flying bunk, flying cloud 30. Now, this, I say bunk, and it's very interesting that I say bunk because this does have a bunk in the back. Uh, it has multiple bedrooms. And the thing about it is, I'm going to wait till this stops where I don't uh, hop on board. It'd be like a hop on. There we go. All right, now come on in here. Let's take a look at this. First of all, I want to point out to you, it's got the awning that goes all the way across. So when you pull that awning out, you got an outdoor living room right here. It's unbelievable how much sunshade it provides you. You can fit your family and about five more right up under that awning. It's beautiful. All right, step on in here. Now, this uh, interior right here is the truffle. This thing comes in three interiors. Uh, you have the uh, sandpiper, which is a, kind of a white-colored cushion, and then you have the wild honey, which is ivory, and then this is the truffle. This is the dark one. And if you have lots of kids who get their feet on things, then this darker color, you'll be very appreciative of that. Although this stuff wipes down very well, the, the fabric that they use is unbelievable on this. It's almost magic the way it repels dirt, uh, unlike my mind. All right, so now this is what I want to talk about. This is bunk back here. This right here is the family Airstream. If you got a family and you want to take them out, you want something like this because you got a bunk. you got a top bunk, sleeps one down here. You can sleep a couple down here. With kids, you could probably get three across right there, but uh, it's uh, officially rated for two there, but kids are small, particularly if they're born at an early age. Then you have this here. This is the dinette area, and then this thing goes down. You can sleep two right across there. 
Then you have this sitting area here, which this thing is brilliant. This is what really makes a difference in this particular model because when you come in from your out doing your outdoor activities and you want to put on different shoes, you want to take off your shoes, having this to sit down right when you get in is beautiful. And you don't have to displace anyone who's sitting over here playing cards or eating or doing puzzles, whatnot, family activities, that sort of thing. Got a TV. This thing tilts, rotates around. You can see it from here, see it from the couch. It's brilliant. Now, as I mentioned, that back little bunk area, kids love this because you got that curtain that just comes straight across. And when you pull that curtain straight across, this is like an entire room in and of itself. And they get their own TV right there where they can watch all the movies and films that they don't want you to know that they're watching. And, of course, the huge bathroom with the separate shower. You can't get better than that right there. Wonderful. Wonderful. Storage galore in this thing because it's a 30-foot model. Now, when you go back here in the sink, of course, this. This is beautiful. I love this. They just uh, upgraded this for this year with the LEDs and all that. looks very high-tech, very Terminator 2 although I don't want you to really associate emotionally with that. Um, then you got the parents' bedroom. This is where new little brother or sister would be made. Uh, this is uh, where the parents will sleep, and of course you get a partition that pulls across here providing for privacy. Yet another television set right here in the master bedroom, right over there. And of course that uh, pulls out, telescopes around, and rotates around, swivels, and that. And I'll tell you, I think this is underrated about the flying cloud. Uh, the Flying Cloud has the, these particular wood cabinets, and these things hold things in like you wouldn't believe. They're spring-loaded, got the tension here, and it's just such a clean look. Love the look of these Flying Clouds. I love the cabinetry in it, love the decor, and I love the options that you get. And, of course, this master bedroom, got these two windows. It's so great. I cannot tell you how wonderful this, this particular floor model is. And this is really the... This is a unique one. It's the only one that's like this. You find it in the Flying Cloud line. And uh, if you got a family and you want to take them out and you want to have some fun, which this is perfect for seeing America with the family and something like this. My favorite model, I looked at every model in here, and it is so hard to choose because there are so many great ones. But if you have people that you want to travel with and uh, you want separate bedrooms, you want a separate place to eat or do activities, and you want a separate place to sit, you get it in this model. It's fantastic. I love this thing. And I thank you for letting me show you. All right. Set on out here and head on over to Jeff, I believe. Jeff has something else to show us. Thanks, Gordo. What I'd like to show you now is going to be a 23 front bed international. As you can see it pulling up, International is going to be an upgraded version of the Flying Cloud. It has electric awning, one touch. It also comes standard with the awning package, but you get an awning off the rear and off the passenger side. Again, this unit will weigh about 5,100 pounds. It will have a 6,000 pound gross and can sleep four. Come on, let me show you. One of the first things you'll know about this floor plan is that you get an amazing bathroom. You get upgraded faucets, a wonderful window, and again, a big boy approved shower and bathroom, which is important. Also, with the International, you get a porthole window, you get upgraded DuPont Corian countertops, a wonderful deep sink, mowing faucets, you get backlit cabinetry, you get upgraded JBL speakers and subwoofers. The other thing about an international is the leather. It is supple, it's soft, durable, and strong, kind of like me. But I digress. Let's go back to this. Here you have a wonderful queen bed with great accent lighting, storage, lots of USB ports. All the beds and Airstreams, of course, lift to give you great storage underneath. Now, the next model I'd like to show you will be an international 25-foot front bed.
Now the international 25 foot front bed comes in at about 5,700 pounds with a 7,300 gross and can sleep six people. Again, on the international package, you're gonna have the one touch electric awning, awning package off the passenger side and the rear. Come on in. Now, what makes 25 foot Airstream the half of all of Airstream sales is all these wonderful panoramic views that you get while camping. You get the soft leather that cannot be stained and hides scratches, so don't be scared to have your pets in here with you. You also get the extra bed that just hides here for whenever you need it. You also get an amazing kitchen with the Corian countertops. You also, on this model, we always stock ours with two ACs, so on the hottest Texas day, you'll be perfectly cool. You also have an amazing refrigerator that has a separate freezer for all of your extended camping. You also get the convection oven that grills, it bakes, and it microwaves. A fabulous pantry. Double wardrobe. And again, now you have the bed that is turned north and south for easy walkability. Now I'd love to turn it over to Anthony. Thanks, Jeff. We appreciate it, y'all, all of you guys uh, showing us these trailers today, uh, getting people excited about the Airstreams. Uh, we've said it a few times. I want to say it again. Uh, we have people standing by live. If you have questions, we've got chat sessions. We've got Zoom sessions. If you don't want to do that, you can give us a call, talk to us direct. Uh, we'd love to help you get into one of these Airstreams or any of the RVs we've shown you today or yesterday. Uh, we have something exciting. We just started a few days ago. We've got a now, we now have a one-stop shop for all of your Airstream parts and accessories called the Silver Bullet Boutique. Hey guys, Anthony here with Airstream at DFW. If you're like me and you love shopping from the comfort and safety of your own home, we are excited to announce our brand new Airstream dedicated parts website, silverbulletboutique.com. Simply visit silverbulletboutique.com for your one-stop shop on parts. From towing to sanitation, anything you might need for your travel trailer or motorhome, we're gonna have it at the silverbulletboutique.com. We have a huge selection of clearance items, including huge discounts on big green eggs, and huge savings on these tree pot loungers. And for at home or on the road, we've got some great prices on these mugs and tumblers. So guys, if you're looking for new parts and supplies for your RV, whether it's your Airstream motorhome or your Airstream travel trailer, go to our brand new parts website, silverbulletboutique.com. Shop from the comfort and convenience of your own home, get whatever you want, and never have to leave your sofa. I'm Anthony with Airstream and DFW. All right, guys, we're really excited about the Silver Bullet Boutique. We've got some special pricing for you for the next 30 minutes. There's going to be a code down in the comments below. For the next 30 minutes, 20% off everything at the Silver Bullet Boutique with that code that we're using below. Next, we're going to go to some of my favorite Airstreams. They're brand new. They've, well, brand new. They've been around a couple of years. But if you like that really modern look, we're going to look at the Globetrotters. And we're also going to see the flagship of the Airstream line, the Classic. Take it away, Scott. Hey guys, the next Airstream we're going to look at is the Airstream Globetrotter. It was reintroduced a couple of years ago, and it comes in four different sizes. We're going to look at three of them today. We're going to start with the 25FB. As we all know, the FB stands for front bed. The 25-foot size is pretty significant because that's the first size where the Airstream becomes 8 feet 5 and a half inches wide. We still got a relatively light trailer here. We're going to weigh in at about 6,100 pounds, and we're going to have a gross vehicle weight rating of about 7,300. A few other options that you're going to see with the 25-foot size is we're going to go to two televisions inside. We're going to have a larger refrigerator freezer, and we're going to have two air conditioners as an option. Why don't we take a peek inside and see how this thing lays out? Inside, you're going to see a spacious booth. Along with the booth, you're going to have a couch extension so everybody at the campsite can gather in, especially if you've got a rainy day going on. We're going to see a beautiful kitchen with a solid surface countertop so you can cut up all those vegetables you're going to be putting on the grill outside. 
We've got entertainment. We've got a television here, a television in the bedroom, along with a DVD player and radio to kick out those tunes. We're going to see that larger refrigerator freezer, the Globetrotter, actually has what they call a three-way refrigerator. So I'm able to run this thing off AC power, propane, or even just the batteries alone. This is going to be one of the early sizes. It's going to give you a queen-size bed. It's going to be 60 inches wide, just like a queen at home. A little shorter at 75 inches so you can get around, but it sure makes not crawling over the other person well worth it. You're going to have a split bathroom set up with an ample shower and toilet across the hall with divider curtains to give yourself some privacy while you camp. So this is the 25 FB Globetrotter. What we're going to look at next is the 27. We'll see what we add to it. All right, coming down the pipe next time, we have the 27-foot Globetrotter. This is the one that started it all in 2018. This thing was more popular than sliced bread and still is. The 27 foot's still going to be relatively light, weighing in at about 6,400 pounds with a gross weight of 7,600. Again, we're going to see that option for two air conditioners. And one option we haven't mentioned, from 25 feet and larger, we can have either that queen bed that we saw in the 25 or twin beds like we're about to see in the 27. So why don't you step in? Let's see what the differences are between the 25 and the 27. In the 27-footer, we're going to see that same panoramic window in the back, and as we talked about, a panoramic window in the front. We've got ample seating at the booth. We've got a nice couch. We're going to see a very similar countertop to the 25, but we're going to get just a little more space. We're going to get a, a larger pantry, we're going to get a little more storage in the closet in the hallway, but I want to show you these twin beds because a lot of people think it's a, a whole uh, Ricky and Lucy thing, but you know what? It really is a nice use of space. The twin beds are going to give you 34 inches of width, but a full 80 inches long. So for some of our taller Airstream customers, this is going to fit the bill. We're also going to see a couple of shirt wards at the foot of the bed with ample storage at the foot of the bed. So the 27 very similar to the 25, a little more storage space, and still light and nimble to tow with a half-ton pickup truck. Guys, our chat rooms are open and our salesmen are standing by, and I've been asked to show a few more things in the 27-foot Globetrotter. They wanted me to highlight this bathroom. You'll see that the bathroom is sized for a real man, so anybody can fit in there, and it's going to let you uh, do all your bathroom duties. We're going to have a split shower across the hall. What's nice about this split system is actually you can do two things at once. We're going to have privacy curtains that come across. So if you have someone staying with you, because we can sleep up to five people here, everybody would like a little privacy, and we can certainly do that. As you step into the hallway, you're going to see two large closet doors with ample storage. Right now I've got all the cushions for making beds in here, but you can hang a lot of clothes and put a lot of gear inside. Also in the kitchen, one thing with the 27 that most people like is the oversized pantry. You're going to be able to store lots of canned goods for your camp out in here. Maybe stuff to make s'mores. We know that's what you do at the campfire. We're also going to have a beautiful three-burner stove, a convection microwave. We've talked about cooking those biscuits before. Well, you can certainly do it right here in the convection microwave. And we've got all kinds of storage for all your utensils, pots and pans right here in the kitchen. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go to the flagship of the Globetrotter lineup, the 30-footer. So come with me. The Globetrotter 30RB, the RB stands for rear bed, is brand new for the 2020 model year. Introduced late in the model year, it had a lot of anticipation, waiting to see exactly what they would do to make it unique. And here we go, the Globetrotter 30RB. Relatively lightweight, about 7,000 pounds empty, with a gross weight rating of 8,800 pounds. The two air conditioners are standard now, as is the power awning and window awnings around the side. When we go inside, you're going to see a very unique booth layout. This will make you the hit of the campsite. So come on in and let's take a look. One thing unique to the Globetrotter 30 
is this entire wraparound couch. You can get everybody from all the campsites in here. You've got a beautiful table that you can sit at as a dinette, but it can also be used as a nice buffet table. Cook those burgers out on the grill and have them all set up so people can come through and have a little buffet and enjoy the outside. We're going to see plenty of counter space in the kitchen. Solid surface counter space with a huge, huge deep sink so you can actually wash real dishes. Tons of storage, cabinet-wise, for all your utensils. We've got a, the same three-burner stove, convection microwave. We're also going to see a huge pull-out pantry, just like we saw on the 27-footer. We're going to see the big double closet here in the hallway. Now, the bathroom on the 30-footer, we're going to notice, has a window. No claustrophobic feeling in there. Uh, what a nice-sized bathroom for a travel trailer. And one thing I failed to mention is the largest refrigerator in any of the Airstreams. This is brand new and exclusive to the Globetrotter 30. This 10 cubic foot refrigerator is all electric, so it's a compressor style. It gets your food colder faster and doesn't have to use any propane to keep things cold. As we go into the bedroom of the 30, we're going to see something different than maybe you saw in the flying cloud, and that is you're not going to see the lockers on each side of the bed. We're going to get to retain that beautiful panoramic window. So when we back up to the lake or to the trees, we can see everything that we came to camp for. So this is the 30-foot RB Globetrotter. Come see it. We've got great sales specials running right now. Again, our salespeople uh, are on the chat rooms ready to answer your questions. And we're going to go now to the flagship of the Airstream lineup. Next up is the Classic. All right, guys, we've got the flagship of Airstream's lineup, the classic 30RB, the RB standing for rear bed. What we're going to see with the classic that's different than all of the other trailers, we're going to see bigger air conditioners with the classics, two 15,000 BTU air conditioners with heat pumps. The weight's a little heavier with the classic. We're going to have an empty weight of just a little over 8,000 pounds. And why is that, you ask? Well, the Classic is going to have all solid hardwood cabinetry. That's something we haven't seen in any of the other Airstreams. We're also going to have some luxury touches like an electric awning. Even our stabilizer jacks are going to be just push-button electric. No sense to work up a sweat when you're hooking up at the campground. We're going to see larger propane tanks, 40-pound aluminum tanks, and we're going to see upgraded AGM batteries along with 270 watts of solar panels already mounted on the roof. Well, let's go in and see what sets this classic apart. As we step inside the classic, we're going to say, hey, this furniture looks just a little different. This furniture is not made by Airstream. It's actually made by a company called Villa. They make custom furniture for high-end RVs. Also, you can see the solid hardwood cabinetry all around. You can see the Corian countertops on not only the kitchen counters, but also the kitchen table. And to make this table into a bed is a snap. It is just the push of a button, the table will go down, and we can put the cushions across, and we've got that additional sleeping area. So a full sleeping for four folks inside of the Classic. The Classic also comes with a Wi-Fi hotspot. That's going to allow for a couple of things. That's going to allow you to control a lot of the trailer's functions with your cell phone, but it also can provide you streaming video uh, with your subscription to AT&T. So if you're at a campground and you want to watch Netflix or Hulu, you can just hook up and with the smart TV, stream your favorite shows to keep those kids occupied. Maybe when you're going to go out for a hike or if it's a rainy day and you're trapped inside. As we walk through the Classic, we're going to see all those familiar features of a double closet. You'll see it's cedar lined, very ample storage inside. We're going to see a large refrigerator freezer, pull out pantry. We're also going to see as we go back here, 
to the bathroom, we're going to have that familiar shower we've seen before, but boy, with something else, a little higher-end plumbing fixtures and also a heated shower floor. As we go across to the toilet area, we're going to notice in here, and I'm going to open the door and let, uh, let our film guy come in and take a peek at this. In the bathroom, we're going to have not only plenty of space and plenty of cabinets, but that towel bar on the wall, it's heated too. So if you're camping in the wintertime and you hop out of the shower, there's nothing better than a warm towel. I guess you might not call this camping. Maybe it's more glamping. As we walk into the bedroom, you're going to see a beautiful queen-size bed, and you might notice that the mattress is sitting up. Well, this is an electric bed. So with this bed, you can sit up if you want to read a book in bed, but all with the push of a button, the bed will just return to a flat bed for a great night's sleep. The Classic also has a unique water heater and furnace system. It is a hydronic system. What that means is it heats up a glycol solution and pumps it through a series of radiators. Some people will call it a radiant heat. So it's not that drying forced air heat you would get from a regular furnace, but a nice soft warming heat. Also, when it comes to hot water, if hooked to a city water supply, you've got an almost unlimited supply of hot water to take that nice long shower. Well, this is the Airstream Classic, the flagship of the, of the, uh, of the lineup, and I'd like to take you now back to Anthony. Thank you, Scott. We really appreciate you showing us those trailers. Guys, this, this show is so exciting for us. we got some great reasons to buy one. Hold on. Aaron, jump in here a minute, Aaron. Aaron Vaught, president of the dealership here. I'm actually going to have him tell you all the things I was about to tell you. So why should I buy at this RV show? Uh, why buy specifically at this RV show? Well, um, much like any RV show, of course, uh, we try to bring a large selection of different products in. We try to price them incredibly um, competitive compared to anybody else that's in our area. But really... Um, what we always say is no one will beat us on anything that we sell. So especially when we come into an RV show, we want to put the lowest prices that we've had uh, all year long. We want to move lots of RVs. We put ourselves up against anybody that sells these products. And because we believe our products are the best products in the industry, then why not? Um, one thing I can tell you that has gone on in this exact moment in time is that we have geared up and ordered all the RVs because the springtime and the summertime is really the biggest time to sell RVs in our industry. Uh, so we geared up as always and ordered a whole bunch of different uh, travel trailers, fifth wheels, motorhomes in preparation for uh, April and March and May and June. And uh, those RVs are continuously coming. The one thing that did happen is we had a bit of a slowdown uh, here in our country. So uh, these things started to pile up a little bit. And so here we are, um, as we're coming out of this a little bit, the RV industry is one of the things that's actually booming. People have found a million reasons on why they want to go and RV. Um, at home right now, people are finding a lot of things that uh, some more quality time with their family. Um, there's a lot of positives coming out of this weird ordeal we're going through. But the difference is they're tired of being in their living room. So as the world opens up slowly and surely, and of course we all want to be safe like everybody discusses, but... RVs are becoming incredibly popular. So really there's no better time as a uh, consumer, as somebody that wants an RV, than to buy now because the selection is massive. We're loaded with inventory. Uh, yet we've sat here on pause a little bit and so we're motivated as we've ever been um, to try to get ourselves back at what would be a normal inventory point. So here we are having this big RV show as our shows are closed throughout the uh, country. So we're gonna bring the show to you and of course we're open. So I would say selection is massive. Uh, deals are fantastic. Uh, we also had a little hailstorm recently, so we've even got some deals on top of deals. And who doesn't like a sale price on top of a sale price? Um, if we went down the list of what we sell, um, not from our words, but from just actual national acclaim, the uh, Jayco products, the number one selling travel trailer, 15 years in a row. Uh, the Airstream, of course, is iconic and seems to be the hit right now with all celebrities. And, uh, of course, we just opened up this beautiful store that's all uh, under roof, uh, about 40,000 square foot. So it's always fun to shop here. But when you have a giant selection with an easy place to shop uh, where you can shop in cool comfort, uh, as well as amazing prices, it's really just everything a customer would want. They want to be able to see, touch, and feel nearly every floor plan. They want to be able to make their decision on what they want. They don't have to worry about price because we've already said we'll beat anybody that sells the, this same product. Uh, I don't know why anybody wouldn't want to buy here at this RV show. 
and uh, we hope for it to be incredibly successful. We've already sold several, uh, so I'm pretty pumped about that. Um, and then again, we want to be the best dealership for these customers. So if, if we can stand behind that and be the best dealership for somebody to do business with, have amazing prices and an amazing selection, and truly have the best products in the industry, uh, again, Tiffin's the uh, top-selling motorhome. Jake already mentions a top-selling trailer. Uh, we're a top five or top ten dealer in almost everything we sell across the nation. So I feel like we can hold up our end of the bargain and just come take advantage of these prices at incredibly low prices. Please come buy RVs <laughs> from Vought RV and Airstream of DFW today. Yeah, we, we almost have an all-star lineup here at the dealership. It's, uh, it's almost not fair, the brands we sell versus some of the other dealers that are out there. All right, guys, we're going to go to something special now. A lot of people really are familiar with the Airstream trailers. They're so iconic. Um, everyone knows those silver trailers. Not everyone is familiar with the Airstream motorhomes. So we're going to take a look at a couple of the Airstream motorhomes. We're fortunate to have them here at the showroom. Uh, not a lot of dealers are able to get these things right now. So take it away, Scott. Let's look at a couple of these Airstream motorhomes. Guys, this is the number one selling B-Van, the 2020 Airstream Lounge on the Mercedes Sprinter chassis. The Sprinter chassis has kind of been the workhorse of the industry, and the Airstream is the ultimate in refinement. Let's take a peek inside and see what the lounge has to offer. Inside the Airstream lounge, you'll notice four wonderful captain's chairs here in the front. These two captain chairs in the back allow for a baby seat or a small child to be secured into the van. You've got all the nice airbags up front. You've got a forward-facing airbag for the driver and passenger, side airbags, airbags in the seat. And with 2020, you've got the new Mercedes-Benz chassis with the Mercedes infotainment system and all of the safety features built in. Now, what makes this a motorhome is it's got a full kitchen. Look at that, a full kitchen. So going down the road, if you need to get a drink out of the fridge or if you need a roadside stop and you want to make a sandwich, you can certainly do it. We're going to have a full bathroom inside this. So now you have a nice, safe, clean bathroom for the kids or yourself to use. No more dirty truck stops when you're on the way uh, to your destination. And in the back, you're going to see a setup of a couch and also a couple of little side jump seats, all of them with seat belts. So we have, as I said, seat belts for nine folks in here. So this doesn't have to just be a camper. This could tailgate to the game. This could be for the soccer mom that hauls the kids around. This is a fully self-contained motorhome. It has a generator, so we just push a button and we have power. It also has all the tanks that are needed for camping. You've got fresh water and wastewater tanks all on board. If you want to camp in this unit, we'll step back a minute and I'll kind of demo how easy it is to make this into a bed because you do have sleeping for two, yes, even in this van. So all you do is with the push of a button, simply lower the couch and the couch will make into a nice flat bed. Once the couch is lowered, all you have to do is the jump seats will go across as you can see. And once they both come across, you're gonna make into almost a king size bed. So I'll put everything back now. So here you have the 2020 Interstate Lounge by Airstream. Not only a camping van, but something far more versatile. What we're going to look at next is more of a camper by Airstream, and it's the Airstream Atlas. So as you'll notice, the Airstream Atlas, as we see it coming down the pipe here, it's a little wider than the Interstate van. What the Atlas is, it's a cab chassis, a Mercedes Sprinter cab chassis with a motor home or motorhome shell built around it. Some of the neat things about the Airstream Atlas is the overall fit and finish. We don't see any handles on any of the storage bays. We see a beautiful step that's hidden that comes out to provide easy access into the motorhome. This unit takes about 375 man hours to produce and you would think that, that they're done at that point, but no, another 350 man hours in just fiberglass and paintwork. One thing I want to point out is the fit and finish on this model. If you look between the cab chassis and the box, there are absolutely no seams whatsoever in the fiberglass. It is certainly as much a work of art as it is a motorhome. Different from the van is the interior. Let's go inside and take a look and see how this is a little more of a camper. You'll see inside the Atlas 
everything is as plush as can be. We see a similar cab that we saw on the interstate. We're going to see the passenger and driver seat up there with the full Mercedes uh, chassis and, and, and new dash and infotainment system. The seats rotate just as they did in the van, so I can set up a small table to maybe sit and have my lunch. I've got a wonderful couch here. The couch has some really nice electric footrests that come up, so if I want to sit back and watch TV, I can certainly do it in a nice, relaxed style. We're going to see a neat TV on a televator. I can simply push a button. The TV will go down, and now I've got a nice window that I can look out while I'm traveling down the road. You're going to see a full kitchen in the Atlas. Sink, stove, we've got a wonderful convection microwave, a beautiful refrigerator, freezer. And unlike that little bitty bathroom we saw in the interstate, this has a huge spacious bathroom with lots of closets. Why? Because this is really more of a camper. We're going to see a shower made for a real man. We're going to see a porcelain toilet. And we're going to see wonderful closet space throughout. So you can take all of your goodies on vacation with you. Throughout the coach, you're going to see various touch screens. These touch screens allow you to control the coach from wherever you're at, from the kitchen area, from the bathroom, or from the front at the main control panel. Well, you're probably asking yourself, how in the world is this a camper? Do I just sleep on the couch? Well, no, you don't. This couch will simply lay flat, and when the couch lays flat, you'll have a full Murphy bed that pulls down from the wall. I'll do a quick demo real quick, and I think you guys will like it. So we can see the Murphy bed pulls down very easily and will lay flat, and it's somewhere between a queen and king size. So you have a real bed to sleep in while you're camping. So this is the Airstream Atlas. It's been out for a couple of years, quite successful. It's Airstream's biggest little camper, and you can have all the same fun camping around the, the country in this as you could in any of their trailers. So remember, right now, special sale prices. You can talk to our salespeople via the phone lines or the Zoom chat, and uh, come out and see us here at Airstream DFW and make your dreams come true. Thanks, Scott. We really appreciate your presentation on those motorhomes. We want to thank everyone who did presentations today. We want to thank our special guests, Gordon Keith and Justin Humphreys from Airstream. It was really great having them out. Like Scott mentioned, we're going through these units quickly, so if you see something you like, we've got salespeople standing by to help you out live, answer your questions. Uh, we can do it through Zoom, we can do it through chat, you can call the number below if you want to. Uh, if, if, if buying an RV is your dream, we want to make that dream a reality. So guys, we're going to take a quick break. When we come back from that break, we're going to see some motorhomes from Tiffin, some motorhomes from Pleasureway, some Midwest vans. You're not going to want to miss the second half of this show. We'll see you in 15 minutes. Hey everyone, this is Alec from Vought RV. Today we're going to go over five quick tips that you need to know when you're going camping. Let's get started. All right, first things first, guys, for safety reasons, uh, you always want to make sure that your tires are at the right PSI. Uh, so on this, you go to the driver's side of the trailer here towards the front of the tongue jack, and it has the different uh, PSIs for each tire. For example, the front, the rear, and the spare tire. On this particular trailer, it's 80 PSI all around, so you got to make sure that that's right. All right guys, now we're going to talk about the water heater. This is very important to check before you go camping, especially if you don't like cold showers. So we're going to open it up here. And a couple of things to look for is uh, dirt daubers, wasp nests, spiders, anything like that. Um, that can cause a lot of damage to your water heater, so you're going to want to check that. And if you see any, just clean it out, blow it out with compressed air. Also, whenever you put in water into your water heater, uh, before turning it on, you're going to want to release this pressure relief valve. And if a little bit of water comes out, that means you have water in your water heater. Uh, if you don't see water, please wait before you turn it on because you can burn in, burn out the heating element inside and you don't want that. All right, and our third tip now is to check the air conditioner and make sure it's working properly. As you know, here in Texas, it gets pretty hot, so we wanna make sure that it's cooling enough for us. So first thing we wanna know is how this AC works. It takes the air from inside from the trailer, the hot air, recirculates it, and it returns as cold air. So we wanna make sure that this intake is uh, clear of any obstruction, any, uh, anything dirty, and that way all that air, we're getting as much air as possible going in there. So we're gonna check our filter here. You take this off, you slide it out. And then, here's the filter here. So as you can see, this is pretty clean. You see right through it. And if you see anything dirty, you can just rinse it off with some water or wipe it off, and then let it dry and then put it back in here, and then put this back up here. 
All right, so now we're gonna talk about your awning. It comes very handy when you're looking for some shade. Now we're gonna open it, pressing the awning button. So what you wanna look for is when this flap comes down, that's when you know it's extended all the way. All right, so this awning can be used when there's light rain and at the corners over there it has some pitch so whenever it's raining you can pitch it to one side so that way the water won't accumulate right here and cause the awning to rip. Also it's recommended by the manufacturer if there's anything more than 10 mile an hour wind to bring the awning in. Uh, that can cause a lot of damage to your awning if you have it out and there's a lot of wind. So anytime you leave your trailer to go out to the lake or go for a hike make sure you bring this awning in so that way there won't be any damage. Alright for our last tip we're going to safely get on the roof and what we're gonna be checking for is any holes or anything or scratches on this rubber, especially if we just got back from camping from anywhere where there's a lot of tree branches. Uh, we wanna make sure that no tree branches poke through this rubber material here. But also, if you have your, your RV roof um, exposed to the elements, the weather, to the sun, uh, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that your ceilings here are, don't have any cracks in it. Because what that will happen, if you do have a crack in it, water will get in there and cause damage to your roof, and we don't want that. So if you see a crack in your sealant, just get some um, lap, lap sealant Dicor and uh, fill that spot in so that way no water will get in. All right, folks, those were our five tips for camping. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and happy camping. I've always been told in the RV business that we sell something that people want. We don't sell anything that they need and, and it's kind of widely regarded as, yeah, I guess that's right. You know, you need a vehicle to get around, but you don't need an RV. Um, and then it just dawned on me that I think you do. It may not be an RV, it could be something else, but I think that people miss out on having fun. Uh, I think we go to work, we pay our bills, and we think one day we'll do this. We squeeze out a week every year, you know, if you're lucky, maybe two, and, and go on a vacation. But even in my life, I like to be able to, you know, get my family out, and I've got young children, and I want to explain to them the world through my eyes and, and through our family and, and uh, teach them, you know, what our morals are and our ethics and, and integrity. And it's hard to get an audience with children these days with tablets and everything else, but in an RV, I get an audience and we get to see places. You know, we live here in Texas, it's really hot, not a lot of snow, but I can go find snow. Um, uh, in Dallas, Fort Worth, there's not an ocean, but I can go to an ocean. Um, so it just gives us freedom and really day one, it just means make it a priority and don't think one day, tomorrow is not promised. And whether somebody comes to get an RV from us or from somebody else, or they decide to get a boat or, or anything, what, whatever it is, whatever your dream is, whatever you're saying one day, um, I would just encourage you to turn that into today's day one. I'm gonna find it, and I'm gonna do it, and I'm, I'm gonna go out there and force myself to have a good time. And all of us understand that the goal is to get people out there having fun, and we wanna do everything that we can to help. Hey guys, Anthony here with Bot RV. Today I want to talk to you about our prep process and what that means to you, our customer. Every travel trailer, fifth wheel, and motorhome that comes through Bot RV goes through a 144 point inspection process. Everything from the propane and water systems, smoke detectors and ice makers, ignition systems and thermostat operations, air conditioners and stabilizing jacks. All of the external and internal components are thoroughly inspected to ensure that you not only have a great delivery process, but you can make adventures for years to come. 
So you may be asking yourself, what does this 144 point inspection cost? Here at Vought RV, anywhere you see a price advertised, whether it's at our website at VaughtRV.com, whether it's at our dealership, anywhere that you see a price posted, that fee is included. Here at Vought RV, our goal is to be completely transparent with you, our customer. We don't want to charge you anything extra once the deal is consummated. And that may not be the case with some other dealers you work with. You may be very excited about a price they give you, get in that closing office, and now they're charging you extra fees. We are never going to do that at Vought RV. Guys, shop with confidence at VaughtRV.com. Or come visit us at our dealership. We're just five miles east of downtown Fort Worth. Come let us help you start your next RV adventure. I'm Aaron Vaught from Vaught RV Center and Airstream of DFW, and I just wanted to invite you to join our YouTube channel. We're going to be putting all of our promotions and giveaways, different tips and tricks and camping ideas, and you can see all of the iconic brands that we sell right here from the Vaught RV family in Fort Worth, Texas. Hey guys, Anthony here with Airstream with DFW. If you're like me and you love shopping from the comfort and safety of your own home, we are excited to announce our brand new Airstream dedicated parts website, silverbulletboutique.com. Simply visit silverbulletboutique.com for your one-stop shop on parts. From towing to sanitation, anything you might need for your travel trailer or motorhome, we're gonna have it at the silverbulletboutique.com. We have a huge selection of clearance items, including huge discounts on big green eggs, and huge savings on these tree pot loungers. And for at home or on the road, we've got some great prices on these mugs and tumblers. So guys, if you're looking for new parts and supplies for your RV, whether it's your Airstream motorhome or your Airstream travel trailer, go to our brand new parts website, silverbulletboutique.com. Shop from the comfort and convenience of your own home, get whatever you want and never have to leave your sofa. I'm Anthony with Airstream DFW. Guys, a lot of times when you're shopping for an RV, you got two choices. You can go someplace that's gonna give you a great price, or you can go someplace that's gonna give you great service. It's hard to get both. Well, here at Vought RV, we've decided to kind of merge those two philosophies into one. We wanna be the place that is your low cost leader. We wanna be your discount leader. We wanna be the place that's gonna give you that great price here in the state of Texas. But we don't wanna sacrifice service. Service is something that we have always had as a philosophy here at Vought RV. It's something the Vought family stands for and, and believes in very, very strongly. Customer first. So along with our commitment to customer service, we are renewing our commitment to be your low cost leader. Now, when you come to Vought RV, you're not gonna sacrifice service for price. We're gonna give you the best price in the state of Texas on a Jayco Charbo trailer, or a Jayco Motorhome, or a Tiffin. Whatever you're looking for, you're gonna come here and you are gonna get the best price in the state of Texas. We will not be beat but we are not gonna sacrifice our commitment to customer service. You are still gonna get the best customer service experience you can get at an RV dealer, not only in the state of Texas, in the United States. We have things that a lot of other dealers don't have, especially when you're talking about Jayco's. We are one of three Jayco authorized service centers in the United States, three, and that includes Jayco itself. Jayco actually sends their service customers to us because of our ability at service. We've also committed to inventory. We now have $3 million worth of Jayco inventory on the ground. So that means if you wanna see a Jayco, we are the place to come. We're not gonna have just a couple of floor plans for you to look at. We are gonna have $3 million worth of inventory for you to look at. So if that means if you're looking for a J-Fly, if you're looking for a Pinnacle, if you're looking for a North Point, if you're looking for anything in between, chances are Bot RV has that unit for you to look at. 
We're also gonna give you a dedicated factory trained RV technician to give you a full walkthrough of your unit. So when you come buy a new unit from, from Vought RV, we're not gonna just hand you the keys and tell you good luck. We are gonna spend as much time with you training you on that new RV. It doesn't matter if, if this is your first RV, your 10th RV, we wanna make sure you feel comfortable when you get behind the wheel and you tow that RV off or you drive that motorhome off, that you're experienced, you're trained, and you're gonna go out there and make great memories with you and your family. So what does all this commitment mean? It means you will not find a better price on a Jayco in the state of Texas. It also means you will not find a better customer service experience at an RV dealer in the state of Texas. We put you first here at Bot RV. Hey guys, Anthony here with Vought RV. I am standing in the country's number one selling travel trailer since 2005, the 2020 Jayco J-Flat 264. It is the perfect trailer for the family, or it's the perfect trailer if you've never owned one before. Um, we order ours here at Vought RV a little different. We always order it with the big air. We're in Texas, it gets hot. We want that big air. Uh, this unit has the industry leading two plus three warranty. You're not gonna find a better trailer on the road with a better warranty. We will not be beat on price in the state of Texas. So if you want to come in and see us, we're just a few miles east of downtown, or you can click the link below, botrv.com, you can click it there, or if you want to punch it in your address bar right above me, just punch it in there, go to botrv.com, go there, see our huge selection of Jayco trailers, come by and see us. Hey guys, this is Anthony from Airstream at DFW. I'm in our 45,000 square foot showroom. There's one question I get all the time. I don't care if I'm here at the dealership, if I'm at an RV show, if I'm just walking around outside, people see me wearing an Airstream shirt, why Airstream? You're talking about a tenured history vehicle. They've been building these things since 1931. 65% of everything they've built over that time is still on the road. That's an astronomical statistic. I, I can't even imagine what number two would be. So you're buying a, a, piece, of, a, a piece of history that's never gonna wear out. Another thing, they tow better than anything else you can ever tow. So I don't care if it's a, a 16 foot Caravelle, if it's a 33 foot Classic, these things tow completely different than the white box trailers out there. I don't care if it's the same size, I don't care if it's the same weight. It's, it's, it's astronomical, the difference in the way they tow. Maintenance, maintenance goes away when you buy an Airstream. A lot of the things you have to worry about when you buy an RV, sealing the roof, sealing the windows, roof leaks, window leaks, all that stuff goes away when you buy an Airstream. That doesn't mean there's no maintenance, but it means that your peace of mind over the time of ownership is better. Tons of floor plans that are offered. A lot of people think they're just small or they're just big. There's everything from 16 foot all the way up to 33 foot. Motorhomes, say you don't want an Airstream trailer, you want an Airstream motorhome. Airstream motorhomes are available too. People, a lot of people come into this dealership but they don't even realize Airstream still builds motorhomes. There is a thousand reasons why you should come buy an Airstream, but you can't do it unless you come here to Airstream at DFW. Welcome back everybody. I hope everyone enjoyed the first half of the show, getting a look at those Airstream trailers and motorhomes. This part of the show is gonna focus on motorhomes from Tiffin, uh, Midwest. We're gonna have some pleasure ways. We're gonna have a leisure travel to show you as well. As a special, during the show, anyone who purchases a motorhome at this time is gonna get a $500 parts and service gift certificate. So when you go and pick up your new motorhome, we're gonna give you $500. You're gonna be able to spend that any way you want to in our service and parts department, so that's really exciting. Another good reason to take advantage of this RV show. Second, everyone is a little concerned about sanitation and cleanliness these days. So we are going to do a sanitation process on all of our new motorhomes and trailers that you purchased through the show. Here's a few details. Sun exposure, road salt, bird droppings, insects, spills, odors, and germs. Keeping your RV new can be challenging to say the least, but keeping your RV healthy and clean inside and out has never been as easy and effective as it is now. Eco RV Pro provides two revolutionary eco-friendly products that not only maintain your RV's brand new exterior appearance, but also keeps the interior of the coach stain, odor, and germ-free to protect its value over time. These unique industry-changing products are Microbe Repel and Exterior Shield. Eco RV Pro's interior product, Microbe Repel, is a permanent self-sanitizing disinfectant and protectant that is 99.99% .99 effective in eliminating microbes, stains, and odors for a full five years. Creating a permanent barrier on interior cabin surfaces, the ventilation system, and the cargo areas, resulting in a clean and healthy vehicle environment. 
Protecting your RV's exterior from the never-ending environmental attacks is challenging. These threats impact the appearance of your vehicle and its value. Eco RV Pro Exterior Shield creates a protective barrier that withstands these environmental attacks from UV damage, acid rain, bird droppings, insect damage, including love bugs, hard water etching, and more. Exterior Shield is truly eco-friendly with sustainable, high performance guaranteed for five years. Simply put, owning an RV that is protected by Eco RV Pro's truly green products not only helps maintain its new appearance, but also keeps it healthier and safer for you and your family. All right, guys, let's get this show started. We're going to go over to Chris. He's going to show you a couple of motorhomes from Midwest and one of our pleasure ways. Take it away, Chris. Hey, guys, this is a 2020 Midwest Passage 144, 19 foot on the Mercedes Sprinter chassis. You got the all-terrain wheels and tires, front spoiler on the front, automatic awning on the outside to cover your sliding door. If you want to go ahead and go on inside, I'll show you a few things on inside there. As you can see back here, you got a power sofa. It's going to lay down to make a bed. You got a JL audio system for the back, TV, DVD player. You have solar panels on top of the roof, convection microwave small fridge, all-in-one bathroom. Guys, this unit is perfect get to get in and out of town. It's only 19 foot. You can go into restaurants, park, no problem. Uh, don't forget, guys, to jump on the Zoom chat. If you have any questions, we'll be here to help you. And we're going to go on to the next unit. Next, we have a 2020 Midwest Weekender. This unit is on the Mercedes Sprinter chassis as well. As you can see, the black exterior, this thing is awesome. You have the four captain's chairs. Uh, you have the automatic awning. This will be 24 foot. Uh, come on in. Let me show you a few things on the inside. This unit here, you're going to have, the, like I said, the four captain's chairs. You're going to have heated vibrated seats on all four chairs up front here. You have the bench seat in the back that's going to lay down to make a bed. This unit has a 12 volt 60,000 BTU pro air system that runs off the engine. You're going to be able to keep this unit cool going down the road. You have an in motion satellite, wireless internet router, Apple TV, induction cooktop. Guys, this thing is loaded. This thing is comfortable. Easily get eight, nine, ten people in here, no problem at all. Guys, don't forget, once again, jump on our Zoom chat if you have any questions. We'll be here to help you. Next, we have a 2020 Pleasure Way on tour. This is going to be on the Ford Transit chassis. This is by Pleasure Way. This is the Ontour 2.2. This is one of their new units out. You have the automatic awning on top. Come on inside, I'll show you a few things. Guys, right when you walk in, you're gonna notice you have your all-in-one bathroom right here. Solid countertop, induction cooktop. You have screens that come down on the front and back. Your rear sofa back there lays down, sleep two people. You have the Laguna table that flips around, blinds, AC, all LED lighting. Guys, don't forget, if you have any questions, jump on that Zoom chat. We'll be here to help you all day. Back to you, Anthony. Thanks, Chris. Boy, it's exciting seeing all these motorhomes come through like this. It's even more exciting when you see what we've got them priced at. Um, many of you may not know, Vaude RV is actually growing a little bit this year. We opened a new store near Houston. It's dedicated to leisure travel motorhomes. We have a message right now from our general manager down there, Daryl. Take it away, Daryl. Thank you, Anthony. Hey, guys, this is Daryl from Leisure RV Center and Vaude RV. We are excited to be part of the virtual RV show held May 15th and 16th. We are the newest member of the Vaude RV family located just 30 miles north of Houston off of Interstate 45 in Willis, Texas. We are an exclusive dealer for Leisure Travel Vans, Airstream Atlas, and Midwest Automotive Designs. 
We will have some fantastic sale pricing and specials going on during this show, and we invite you to come out and attend. In addition, we have a full service, service center with RVDA certified technicians available. Please come out and visit us. Back to you, Anthony. Thanks, Daryl. It's great to see this family of dealerships grow like it is. Guys, the Leisure Travel Motorhomes are really special. We rarely get those things to show. They're usually sold before they even arrive. So we have something really exciting for you today. We actually have one in stock. We have one here to show you. I'm going to have Race show it to you right now. Take it away, Race. Thanks, Anthony. Hey, guys, what I want to show you right now is the most elusive vehicle that we've had on our lot in a long time. This is the elusive Leisure Van Wonder 24 RTB. It's got the rear twin beds. Let me show you the neatest feature about this coach, guys. I don't care if you're a bike enthusiast, and if you are, you get up there to the mountains in Colorado, you need to take your dirt bike or mountain bikes with you, or you want to ride the hotter in the hell race at Wichita Falls. Bring it on here, take your toys with you, guys. It's got a slide out rack right here, and if you look, you've got a place for extra bike tires. You can do whatever you need to do in this. If you're a bike enthusiast, this is the coach to be in. Lots of pass-through storage. You can tow up to 2,000 pounds on the back. Got the propane generator, full body paint on this beautiful fiberglass rig. This is on a Ford Transit chassis. But the thing that's different, guys, this is going to be probably one of the last ones that they're going to build on the uh, diesel engine, 3.6. You're talking about a nice rig, guys. You got everything that you need. You got great names to follow you. Let me show you some features inside. As you get into here, you've got your two seats, the dash up front, the Ford Transit. You can see you got the navigation. You've got seats here that you can have two people more riding with you. When you get to these newer models, here's a neat feature that's starting out on these now. Your refrigerator, freezer. But you got your microwave open like this. You can't get into it to get it out. The refrigerator, guys, opens both ways. How do you like that? There you go. You've got your TV up here. Great cabinets. If you look, they're soft clothes. You sit out here. You're camping. You leave it all like this. You get ready to leave. All you got to do is just walk by, give them a little tap. And off they go. You got the TV with the sound bar in it. You got a split bathroom. Toilet area is over here. It's got a sink in it. And if you notice, guys, that toilet is at an angle. Gives people like me enough room to fit in there. Got your shower over here. Now, I know everybody's sitting there looking around at this thing. You're going, okay, that's great, but where am I going to hang stuff? I'll show you where you're going to hang it. Right here. Got a closet that goes all the way down. It's underneath your bed. Twin beds. Great storage. 15,000 BTU AC. Fantastic fans. Microwave convection. Outside storage, take your toys with you wherever you want to go. Guys, if you're looking for something, this is the thing to do. The most elusive unit we've ever had on our lot, and we've got it for you. Check us out on Zoom chats. Back to you, Anthony. Thank you, Race. I got Aaron Vaught here, president of the dealerships. He is really what I consider the heart and soul of our dealerships. Uh, his leadership and dedication has really taken us to where we are today. Thanks for being with us, Aaron. I really appreciate it. Yeah, glad to be here. If there is one thing that you want everyone to know about Vod RV, what is it? Uh, I, I can tell you now I can't say it in one thing, um, but I can tell you that the reason I think Vod RV uh, has some success has a, one of the main reasons I feel we're very blessed, and uh, we're, I believe we're blessed because of uh, well, our family that has created this um, from my grandfather and uh, the way he raised my dad and my uncle and, and the way they got this company going. So I, I truly believe it's a blessed dealership because we just kind of keep an eye on what's important. Um, the success more recently, I think, has to do with the people that work here 
and the uh, brands that we sell. So we're fortunate enough to, we've got folks that have been here for decades, three and four decades. Um, I've got a, a wash guy and a PDI tech, and he does our hitches that started just a couple months after I did, 22 years ago. Um, Anthony, we've worked together for over two decades. so yeah, We've been together a long time. Um, I, th I think that the secret sauce to this dealership 100% is just how lucky and blessed that we are um, from the very beginning to now. The manufacturers that we sell, because I believe we've, we've almost hand-selected the best just from how long we've been around. We've sold everything, and, and the, the people that we keep around are the people that take care of our customers and uh, the people who I believe uh, are going to honor their warranties and build better products and, and keep our customers in mind. And it kind of leads me to our, our motto, which um, I think everybody here can say because I, I just seem to talk about it all the time. <laughs> But before we make any decision at Vought RV, it has to pass through a pretty strict filter system. And one is, what is best for our customers? Uh, if, if it's not in our customers' best interest, we won't do it. So it's pretty simple. As far as stocking a part or selling a product or bringing in a floor plan, um, it could be a dynamite seller. But if it's not what's best for our customers, then we're not going to have it. Uh, and then, of course, what's best for our partners, which could be our manufacturers, um, which, again, I think are the best in the industry. Um, after that, it's what's best for our employees because I believe if you treat your employees right, uh, they're going to treat your customers right. And then, uh, you know, at the end of the day, it is a business, so what's best for our bottom line? But uh, we strictly believe that if you take care of your customers and you sell good products and take care of your partnerships um, and your employees are happy, then the, the rest really takes care of itself. Guys, I've worked with Eric a long time, and I can tell you what he's saying is not just propaganda. It is what he truly believes, and, and it's truly how he runs this dealership. Uh, talking about our partnerships, that leads me to my next question. Uh, one of our oldest partnerships is with Tiffin. Uh, so what, what does Tiffin mean to, to Vought RV? Oh, boy, Tiffin means everything uh, to Vought RV Center. Tiffin was around almost from the very, very beginning. In fact, it was the product that uh, my uncle, uh, Danny Vaught, back when he was a sales manager working for a different company and selling RVs and, and uh, trying to get uh, his feet underneath them and get his own company going. Uh, he visited with Bob Tiffin and, and convinced him to let him sell his motorhomes. And uh, when he left that particular car dealership that sold cars and RVs, he took Tiffin with him and, and really started this whole thing. Uh, Tiffin is a, a privately owned company by Bob Tiffin, who is such an outstanding human being. And he, he does his company the same way we, we do our company, which is you do the right thing first. Um, they have the highest integrity and, and just the best reputation in the industry. Uh, in fact, I would encourage anybody to Google and search Tiffin and find out all the different ways that Bob Tiffin and that company uh, will bend over backwards to, to help you. And they also happen to make uh, what I believe to be the best product and the best value, um, best bang for buck in the industry. And um, that's also shown by being the top selling motorhome. In fact, I think, I don't know to date, but I know over the past several years, they've had four of the top five selling motorhomes. And again, they're privately owned and they don't produce as, as many as some of those big companies. So uh, Tiffin is just so, so important. They give Vought RV credibility, and I hope we do the same for them because of the way they treat people and because of how fair they are and their pricing. And, and uh, the neat thing about uh, being a family-owned business like Tiffin and Vought RV is during situations like today and a climate like today and uh, things that we're going through, we can slow it down, um, we can pivot, we can change in order to do what's best for the customer. And, and so... Uh, the reason we sell Tiffin today is is uh, back in 2008 and 2009, we were coming off of being a top motorhome dealer in Texas for, uh, in the recent decade, eight or nine out of the last 10 years. And um, we were tough with a, or faced with a very tough economy. And at the time, we sold 10 or 15 different motorhome brands. And to be fair to those brands, we kind of had to pick one because we weren't going to order as many as we were, and we were going to get through these times. And uh, Tiffin, being privately owned, was able to slow down their production. Um, they didn't have to uh, find a way to stay out of bankruptcy. They were able to keep their research and development going. So they were putting out brand new products when other people were just trying to stay uh, afloat. And uh, that, combined with the fact that they're such a good company and run by such a good man and a good family, uh, told us that to be fair to the other partners we had, we should let give them an opportunity to go to other dealerships, which helped some other dealerships thrive, having some more brands that we had had tied up for a long time. 
But if we were going to pick one, that was the company we were going to pick. Yeah. And uh, it chose, or it turned out to be a good decision because they've stayed on top and sold the, just sold the best motorhomes in the industry. Thank you so much, Aaron. I really appreciate your time today. All right, guys, we've got another flash sale coming up. Go over to you, Taylor, and see what we got for the people. We have here the Dish Playmaker Dual Satellite System. Over the next 15 minutes, we'll be offering an amazing deal on these great satellite systems. These are for RVing, tailgating, camping, hunting, and more. With the Dish Playmaker, you can get HDTV anywhere. Call the number below and get 15% off our in-stock satellite dishes. Back to you, Anthony. Thanks, Taylor. Now let's go down to the floor and see some of the motorhomes that Aaron was talking about from Tiffin. We're going to look at the Wayfarer first. Take it away, Chris. Thanks, Anthony. Hey, guys, this is a 2020 Tiffin Wayfarer 25RW. Built in Winfield, Alabama. Only two good things that come out of Alabama, Crimson Tide and Tiffin Wayfarer. Uh, you have the automatic awning on the outside, outside TV. You got some storage here, diesel generator. You come on inside, I'll show you what we got in here. Guys, when you come in, you got the overhead bunk up here to your right. You have a tri-fold sofa. Back over here is going to be your Murphy bed. This is a Murphy bed unit. You have a full wall slide. You have in-motion satellite, 190-watt solar, TV, refrigerator, bathroom, a full bathroom in the back, 15,000 BTU air conditioner with heat pump. Guys, this is a perfect unit. You're going to be able to sleep five people in here, no problem at all. Guys, don't forget, jump on that Zoom chat. If you have any questions, we'll be here to help you. Next up, we have a 2020 Tiffin Wayfair 25QW. This unit here, you're going to have in-motion satellite, 190-watt solar, outside TV, diesel generator, auto level system, two slide-outs, this unit here, you'll be able to sleep three, four, four people. As you can see, you have your underneath storage right here. Like I was saying, diesel generator. Back here in the back, you have a spot if you want to hook up an outside grill. You have an L, they run an L, LP line for you. Tankless hot water heater. Guys, come on in. Let me show you what it looks like inside. You got the overhead bunk. You have two theater style seats, recliners here. You got your bathroom and shower, everything here on the right side, fridge, closet. Back here in the back, you're gonna have a queen side bed. This bed slides out the back. While you're traveling, of course, it'll fold up and it comes in. Guys, don't forget, we'll be on the Zoom chat all day to help you out if you have any questions. we look looking forward to hearing from you. Back to you, Anthony. Thanks, Chris. RV service is an important part of ownership. Here are a few tips that every camper should know. Hey, everyone. This is Alec from Vought RV. Today, we're going to go over five quick tips that you need to know when you're going camping. Let's get started. All right, first things first, guys, for safety reasons, uh, you always want to make sure that your tires are at the right PSI. Uh, so on this, you go to the driver's side of the trailer here towards the front of the tongue jack, and it has the different uh, PSIs for each tire. For example, the front, the rear, and the spare tire. On this particular trailer, it's 80 PSI all around, so you got to make sure that that's right. All right, guys, now we're going to talk about the water heater. This is very important to check before you go camping, especially if you don't like cold showers. So we're going to open it up here. And a couple of things to look for is uh, dirt daubers, wasp nests, spiders, anything like that. Um, that can cause a lot of damage to your water heater, so you're going to want to check that. And if you see any, just clean it out, blow it out with compressed air. Also, whenever you put in water into your water heater, uh, before turning it on, you're going to want to release this pressure relief valve. And if a little bit of water comes out, that means you have water in your water heater. Uh, if you don't see water, please wait before you turn it on, because you can burn, in, burn out the heating element inside, and you don't want that. All right, and our third tip now is to check the air conditioner and make sure it's working properly. As you know, here in Texas, it gets pretty hot, so we want to make sure that it's cooling enough for us. 
So first thing we want to know is how this AC works. It takes the air from inside from the trailer, the hot air, recirculates it, and it returns as cold air. So we want to make sure that this intake is uh, clear of any obstruction, any, uh, anything dirty, and that way all that air, we're getting as much air as possible going in there. So we're going to check our filter here. Take this off, you slide it out. And then, here's the filter here. So as you can see, this is pretty clean. You see right through it. And if you see anything dirty, you can just rinse it off with some water or wipe it off and then let it dry and then put it back in here and then put this back up here. All right, so now we're gonna talk about your awning. It comes in very handy when you're looking for some shade. Now we're gonna open it, pressing the awning button. So what you wanna look for is when this flap comes down, that's when you know it's extended all the way. All right, so this awning can be used when there's light rain and at the corners over there it has some pitch, so whenever it's raining, you can pitch it to one side, so that way the water won't accumulate right here and cause the awning to rip. Also, it's recommended by the manufacturer if there's anything more than 10 mile an hour wind to bring the awning in. Uh, that can cause a lot of damage to your awning if you have it out and there's a lot of wind. So anytime you leave your trailer to go out to the lake or go for a hike, make sure you bring this awning in so that way there won't be any damage. All right, for our last tip, we're gonna safely get on the roof and what we're gonna be checking for is any holes or anything or scratches on this rubber, especially if we just got back from camping from anywhere where there's a lot of tree branches. Uh, we wanna make sure that no tree branches poke through this rubber material here. But also, if you have your, your RV roof um, exposed to the elements, the weather, to the sun, uh, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that your ceilings here are, don't have any cracks in it, because what that will happen, if you do have a crack in it, water will get in there and cause damage to your roof, and we don't want that. So if you see a crack in your sealant, just get some um, lap, lap sealant Dicor and uh, fill that spot in so that way no water will get in. All right, folks, those were our five tips for camping. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and happy camping. All right, guys, those are some great tips for when you own your RV. Uh, keep in mind, guys, we've got salespeople standing by to help you. If you have any questions, we've got them live. You can talk to them in the chat room. We can have a Zoom session if you like. If you see something that you want, we're not going to stop you from getting it. So right now we're going to go to the, the uh, Tiffin Class A's and race. Go ahead, race. Take it away. What we got right here, guys, is what a lot of people have been waiting for. If you can say family, the kids are going to be screaming at you right now. Say, Daddy, buy this for me and let's go. This is a 2020 Allegro 36UA on a 26,000 pound chassis with a Triton V10 engine. Guys, this is a brand new color exterior for this year on the outside, and there's a lot of nice features. Plus, look at all this adamant storage you have down here. Guys, this goes all the way across on the bottom. It's like having a mini diesel pusher in your gas motor home. Outside TV, and if you start noticing, we got LG TVs, sound bars, power awnings with LED lights on them. Central vac system, Alcoa aluminum wheels on 22-inch tires. Here's one of the features on this thing that I really like. If you get rid of your propane tank, which a lot of people don't, you can carry your little table, slide it through there. You got fishing poles, slide them in there. You got to remember, this is a family rig. We're going to be at the lake. We're going to be fishing, or we're going to tell people we're at the lake fishing. And if you tell them that, you got to have the, make the story match right. You get up here, you got side view cameras, backup cameras. This coach has two 15,000 BTU ducted AUCs with heat pumps. Let me show you some features inside. Guys, this coach right here has a Dynac computer workstation. Pull this around. Put your laptop right up here. This opens up. Put a printer down there. All your electrical for all that is back underneath here. You, other cabinet on the other side, you pull that out, and that's a file cabinet. I know you're sitting here thinking, this is supposed to be a family deal. We can't seat four around here, but look here. That pulls out. You've got two more collapsible chairs that, in one of the basement storages outside. You put them right here. we got the family. You can come over and have a drink and stay for dinner, but then you got to go home. Three burner gas cooktop. Solid surface countertops. Solid wood. Look at all this storage you got in there in the kitchen. Pull out pantry. 
Guys, this is saying family, 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 let's go have fun. Residential refrigerator, ice maker. It's got little locks on the side so it doesn't come open going down the road. Tiffin thinks about everything, guys. They're, they've been around forever, and they know how to do this game and do it right. You got a hide a bed right here. TV in the living room, fireplace. Beauty about the fireplace, guys, it can be August. You can either have the aesthetic look of the fire, or you can have heat, or you can have fire and heat. It's whatever you want. It's electric. Here's one of the things I like about this coach and why it's so family-oriented. Look at your bunk beds. The beauty about this, if the grandkids aren't going or the kids get too old and don't go, take this mattress out, put it on the bottom, take this one, folds up, locks into place, and you got another big closet in here. So for two to six, this is the rig to be. The one thing that makes this coach kind of unique, Tiffin used to have a 35 QBA. They discontinued that model. They came out with this. Gives you the best of all worlds. Bath and a half. You've got your toilet, your shower, or not shower, sink in there. When the kids go to bed, you can sit here and shut this off, have your privacy. This coach has got an in-motion satellite dish. TV back here. Look at this great storage you got back here for, for a closet. One of the features on this coach that you don't really see in this kind in a gas motor home with all the amenities that I've been showing you, you got a king-size bed. USB ports on either side. When you come back to the bathroom, you got a stacked washer dryer in here. Sink, big shower. Electric flush toilet again. Skylights. Ceiling fan in the bedroom. Guys, if you want to go out and take the family and have fun, I don't care if you want to go to California to New York City in this thing, boys. This is the way to go. This says family, 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 and come see me at Vought RV. Back to you, Anthony. Okay, forget you, Anthony. Back to myself down here, guys. Don't forget to Zoom chat while we're walking around. Yeah, that's right. Roll this thing out here. Bring me another victim. Hey, guys, this next unit we're going to be looking at is the Allegro Red 33AA. It's personally one of my favorites. It's a little over 35 foot long. It's got a 360 horsepower Cummings engine, full body paint, pass-through storage, tow up to 10,000 pounds behind this baby. A lot of people say, man, i got to have something where I can get into state parks that are 36 foot or stuff like that. This is your unit, Allegro Red 33AA. Look at this beautiful little animal. Slide out trays for the batteries. LG TV, slide out tray underneath. Full body paint. Guys, when you, when you touch one of these Tiffins, you're not going to feel a paint line. You got paint, gel coat, paint, gel coat. This thing is painted up and done right. One piece windshield, side view cameras, backup camera. Come on inside and let me show you why this thing is so popular. I personally like to call this my little rocket ship because you buy one of these 33 AAs with, a 30, with that 360 horsepower engine, you'll run off and leave somebody with that 450 and a bigger rig. Of course, we're lighter, but we're going to make we're going to scare them. You got all the slides. You got the fireplace. Look at this spacious living room. You talking about you can hold a dance in here. Be limited dance, but you could do that. Got the same kind of table. Look at this beautiful window on all 2020 model reds or gas, everything. Everybody's gone, but they've gone to this galley window in here. They didn't have that before. Pull up electronics with USB ports. Look at this beautiful mocha wood cabinetry in here. They've redesigned this whole ceiling in 20. LED lights back in here. There again, this unit has two 15,000 duct ACs with heat pumps. More than adequate enough to keep you. I can make you put a coat on in the bedroom. 
Got the nice residential refrigerator. It's got an ice maker down below. There again, we have another one of the gas three burner solid surface countertops just as we work our way back. Got a little bit of pantry right here. Guys, everybody has gone more tech on this stuff. You got a touch control, I can do almost everything here. Put slide outs in, start the generator, cut lights on, cut them off. I can set my th thermostats. I can do all kinds of things off of this panel. The Tiffin Red is, one of the, to me, one of their best units that they build, the most affordable for the money. If you want a nice diesel pusher, this is definitely the coach to be at an affordable price. King size bed. Look at this storage in there. Closet, closet. If you get right up here, the nice thing about this also, when you go over the king size bed, this storage goes all the way to the back wall. I'm sticking my arm in. That's full arm length, deep. Seven foot tall ceilings, one piece molded fiberglass roof. And guys, that's very key. It's one piece molded. It's not seamed on the top. It's seamed on the sides. I don't know if it's because they couldn't get up to the top or what, but that's the way it's done. It's seamed on the sides on this one. Uh, wood plank looking floor, in dash navigation. Boys, if you're wanting a nice diesel pusher at affordable price, the Tiffin Allegro Red 33AA is the way to go. We're going to go on and look at this uh, other coach coming in. Back to Anthony. Thanks, Race. David Doolin is our finance director here at the dealership. He's one of our most senior members. Uh, he's been doing finance longer than most of us have been alive. Uh, thanks for joining us, David. Thanks a I appreciate lot. It. Yeah, no problem at all. Showing my age. Yeah, he looks a lot better than he is. Um, so I've got a big old pile of money. Why okay. should I finance my RV and not pay cash? Well, first of all, I want to congratulate you on having a big <laughs> pile of money. You worked hard for it, and it's my job to help you make that money grow. So there's options that are available that if you would give Kelly or Joe or myself five minutes of your time, we'll explain to you where we can help make your money grow and keep it and let us finance your new trailer or your new motorhome. The real issue is that if you finance it, you've got minimal payments because we have longer terms. If you let your money grow at a minimum of 3%, we can show you in five minutes where that money will actually appreciate instead of liquidate. So keep your money, let it grow, pay it off without a penalty, let the market get back to where it will be, enjoy camping. Thanks, David, that's great advice, I really appreciate it. Guys, we're gonna conclude our show today with two of Tiffin's top brands, the Phaeton and the Allegro Gas. Take it away, guys. Guys, this is a 2020 Tiffin Phaeton 37BH. It's on a Freightliner chassis, 380 horsepower engine. Guys, you have plenty of storage on the outside of this thing. You got a little storage bin here. You got a slide tray. It's going to go out both sides. Outside TV, full Gerard awning, LED lights. Guys, come on inside and let's take a look to see what it looks like. Guys, this is going to be a fully electric coach. You're going to have heated tile floors, hide a bed, three AC units, electric fireplace, dinette computer workstation. Pull this part down right here, put a laptop. You got a spot for a small printer, file cabinet on that side, induction cooktop. You got a counter extension right here. Guys, Tiffin thinks of everything. There's plenty of storage in this thing. Full storage all the way across the couch, up above your kitchen. Guys, you have a galley window. All 2020 models are going to have this now. Residential refrigerator. Pull-out pantry. Guys, here is your half bath. Toilet sink, great if you have company over. They don't have to walk through your 
through your bedroom to get to the bathroom. King-size bed, then your full bathroom in the back of the coach, guys. All LED lighting, guys, these things are just awesome. They do a great job. Don't forget to jump on that Zoom chat if you have any questions. We'll be here to help you out. Next up, we got a 2020 Tiffin Phaeton 40IH. Just wait until you see this one. This is awesome. This is probably one of my favorite floor plans. You're going to notice one thing on this one. Similar to the Allegro bus, you have seamless slide outs, independent front suspension, just like the other one, slide out tray. Guys, this thing really has some underneath storage. You shouldn't have any problem bringing everything with you. Outside TV, Gerard awning. Guys, come on in. Let's take a look at the inside. Guys, one thing you're going to notice on this that I really like, a solid flat floor all the way through the coach. There is no step up. Tiffin raised the floor up to give you extra storage height and then also to give you that solid flat floor. You got your bed here. Your air, it's a hide a bed, folds out to make a bed, sleeps four people. Plenty of storage in this. Right across from your couch, you got your pop-up TV. Recliner. Guys, just like the other one, this is an all-electric coach, heated tile floor, three 15,000 BTU airs with heat pumps, induction cooktops, galley window just like the other one. You got plugs and USBs. Guys, this thing even has a dishwasher in it. I'm telling you, this thing is fully loaded. It has everything you need. Dinette computer workstation. Same pull-out pantry, residential refrigerator. This unit is also a bath and a half. So just like the other one, any of your guests come over, they have somewhere they can go without going through your, through your bedroom. Once again, a king-size bed. This have in-motion satellite on it. Like I said, the tile floor, heated tile floors. Guys, check out this bathroom in the back. Awesome size shower, dual vanity in the back, two sinks. Guys, this thing's even got a washer, a stackable washer dryer in it. They, they have thought of everything to put in this. There's nothing that's missing. Guys, we'll be here. Don't forget, jump on that Zoom chat. If you have any questions, please let us know. I'm here to help you out. Look forward to hearing from you. Next, we're going to go to the 2020 Tiffin Phaeton 44OH. This is going to be the biggest unit they build in the Phaeton line. Like I said, 44 foot tag axle, 450 engine. Talk about this one some more. Guys, the outside of here's the 40IH. You got another storage bin here. Come on back here and show you a few more things. Another little store spot, put some tools, anything like that you may need. Batteries, all the components that run this coach. Slide toppers on all your slide outs. I already went over this. All right, guys, this is the one I was telling you about on the Phaeton. This is their 44OH, 450 engine. Uh, this is the biggest one they make in the Phaeton line. So after this, you of course, you know you jump up to the bus, but this is the 44OH Phaeton. Guys, take a look at this on the outside. Gerard awnings, slide toppers. Look at the underneath storage on this thing. Two slide-out trays. These things are going to go out both sides. You'll have no issue getting all your items out. You won't have to crawl underneath to grab it. Outside TV, LED lights in your awnings, 
Guys, let's, let's jump inside and take a look at this. You're really going to be surprised. Just like all the other ones we've looked at, guys, this is a fully electric coach, heated tile floors, three ACs, 15,000 BTU, BTU with heat pumps. Guys, This look at these recliners on this thing. You can't tell me you wouldn't be comfortable sitting in this watching the game over here. Here's your uh, hide-a-bed sofa here. This folds out. It's an air bed, so it'll blow up. Very comfortable to sleep on. Dinette computer workstation. Just like the other ones, that flips down in computer, printer, file cabinet. Induction cooktop on this one, guys, just like everything else we've seen so far today. Plugs, USBs, galley window. This thing right here lights this thing up inside. It makes it look awesome. Opens it up. Cabinetry, just like the other ones, guys. Plenty of space in here. You got pull-out drawers. Comes with its own pots and pans for the induction cooktop. In motion satellite, solar. The, this one will be solar prepped. Uh, in residential refrigerator, slide out pantry. Once again, this is going to have the half bath as well. So when the guests come over, they have their own spot to go. They don't have to go through your through your bedroom to use your bathroom. King size bed. And then wait till you see the bathroom in the back area on this one. Same as the other one. Nice, good size shower on the right here. Dual vanity on the left. Uh, and actually, on this one, you walk through the bathroom and then you got a full closet in the back. Right here to the right, you'll see the washer dryer, stackable washer dryer. Built in safe on the back wall. All LED lighting. Guys, if you want to travel in style, this is the one you need to get. If you have any questions, don't forget, jump on that Zoom chat. We'll be here all day to answer any questions. Please let us know. Back to you, Anthony. I'm going to come out and turn it over to Race Harrell. He's going to show you guys the 2020 Tiffin Allegro buses. Over to you, Race. Thanks, Chris. Hey, what we're going to do now, guys, we're going to amp this up a little bit. We're going to show you why I'm here, the Allegro bus. The Allegro bus is kind of the flagship. Yes, they do have the Zephyr motorhome that stands above it, but the Allegro bus is our best seller for me. Now, the Phaeton is the number one selling diesel pusher over 15 years in a row. Guys, I hope we've shown you enough reasons why you can see that. Paraglide chassis. Number two selling diesel in America, the Allegro bus. Not the same price point, but take a look at this beautiful animal as it comes in here. This is the all new 35 CP. They just came out with it in 2020. Everybody always uh, wanted a smaller Allegro bus. Tiffin delivered. Brand new paint colors. There again, this coach is built on the Paraglide chassis. The one thing I want to show everybody that's been watching so far, when you look at these compartment doors, if you'll go back and watch the very first Wayfair that we ran through here, built in Winfield, same compartment door structure, guys. They carry quality from the Wayfair all the way through to the bus. Look at this great storage on here. Here's a nice feature you can do to the bus. If you're lazy like me and you don't want to crawl in there, hit your button, slide the tray out. Either way, it'll go to the left, it'll go to the right. So you've got great storage in here. A lot of people sit there and want to know what this is. This is just access to the back of the refrigerator. If we ever have to get into it, we can sit there and repair it. You don't have to pull the windshield out, pull the refrigerator out, set it in the floor, fix it, put it back in, plug it up, and get going down the road. Ample storage. All of the Tiffins have a built-in surge protector from the Allegro gas all the way through the bus. That's already built into it. Aluminum wheels. We use Michelin tires. They want everything good for you here. Another nice thing, here's a battery disconnect for the engine. You're not going to use your motor home. A couple of months, come out there and turn it off. It stops the drainage of batteries right there. Guys, full body paint, window awning package, and if you can 
Let me get you to back up just a little bit. If you can look on the top, it looks like you got something. No, you have to back up a little bit more. Right over the top where it says Gerard over there, that is one big awning that is over the awning that comes out. That awning will come out like this, break, and then break down again. Gives you a lot more shade out here so you can sit there and watch TV. Let me take you inside and show you why the 35 CP is the Allegro bus for you. Get up here. The first thing I'm going to show you is the digital dash. Let me get cut that on for me, will you? There you go. Now, that's kind of like being in a cockpit of an airplane. You've got the digital dash. Look how big your screens are for your camera, side view camera, backup camera, your navigation screen. This coach has got it all. It's even got the mobile avoidance collision center, which you will learn how to cut off because the lady is telling you where to go, and I get that all the time when I get home anyway. I don't need to hear it there. Glazed hardwood cabinetry, glazed hardwood cherry. Villa furniture. Look at the quality of workmanship. Duct air conditioning. Look how it's treated out through the ceiling on the Allegro bus. Fully electric, no propane. Guys, the one thing on the reheated tile floor here that kind of stands out that I really like, it's done different than what almost everybody else does. Everybody else runs water through the floors and heats it. This is going to have two pads, just like electric blankets, one in the front, one in the rear. You can set it. If something goes wrong, you pull one tile up, replace the circuit board, off you go. If you ever have the water run through the floor and you got a leak, you got to pull all that hose out. Imagine how you're going to wind that back through. You have hot and cold spots. You're not going to have it here. Fireplace. Pull-out pantries. Not one, but two. Let me show you one more thing before we get to rolling on this, because this leg robust, guys, this, this, is, this is the cat's meow. Look how deep that is. The other thing about the Allegro bus, all of the blinds from the bedroom going forward are power blinds. You can control them off your monitor panel. Dishwasher, induction cooktop. And by the way, all the motor homes from uh, the Tiffin that are fully electric come with their own set of pots and pans in them. More storage, pull out trays. And if you look, they're not plastic trays. Metal trays on the side, more durability. The only thing I can say that's wrong, they're built in Alabama, they're painted in Mississippi. They couldn't figure out where they wanted to go. Dual sink. When you step back into this 35, you get the tilt-up bed back here. Bed goes up. You got the TV. You can come in here, watch TV, read a book, whatever you want to do. Shut the sliding big door off. There again, these are solid doors. Flat floor slide, I mean floor, all the way back. When you get into the bus, you also get ceramic tile in the showers. You got the single sink back here. You have the medicine cabinet. And guys, workmanship and a name that you can't stand behind. This is the Tiffin 35 CP Allegro bus. The best thing I can tell you about Tiffin is they don't forget you on day 366. They're family oriented. They've always been that way and going to continue. If you want something to cruise down the road in style, the Allegro bus is going to be what it is. Just check it out as we're walking back through here, guys. This is quality from the first screw to the last. It's the best you're going to be able to get, except for the next motorhome. The next motorhome we're going to look at, guys, is my personal favorite. Next motorhome we're going to look at is, to me, the one that really brings it all. 
It's the Allegro Bus 45 OPP. It's got the tag axle. It's got the lighted Tiffin name on the front. Look at that beautiful front end on this coach as it comes rolling through here. This coach is built on a Paraglide chassis. I know we keep talking about that, but the Paraglide chassis is a Tiffin built chassis. One thing that stands out when you go to Paraglide, yes, it has the two power slide out trays, but you're gaining almost five inches more storage in these uh, Phaeton chassis, Paraglide chassis, than a Freightliner or a Spartan. So you can haul a lot more stuff. Not that y'all need anything, but if you want it, you can haul it. There again, most of this is going to be the same. The good thing about this is when we go to the Legro bus, you're stepping up to independent front suspension on it. You're also going to a side mount radiator instead of a rear mount radiator. 150 gallon fuel tank instead of 100. There's a lot of major features to the Allegro bus that you need to be able to take advantage of. This is what you call home away from home. This is the kind if your wife gets mad at you and tells you to go outside, you just say, yes ma'am. Doorbell. Now, as we step into here, you can see what I'm talking about, guys. Luxury from ground up. Hide a bed. Just in case you need to have two people over to spend the night, you got it there. You got two great recliners that are swivel. You can move them out. You can put them wherever you want. You can set one over here where I'm at right now, or you can leave them there. You got your big TV straight across from you where you can sit back in the evenings, kick back. You can work your lights to where you can just have an ambiance of lights, or you can light this whole thing up, whatever you want to do. Pull out countertop. Guys, you don't lose anything in drawer depth. You even get a cutting board that comes with it. Dishwasher. This particular unit has the Woof upgraded induction cooktop. Remember, guys, it comes with all the cookware already included in it. Or at least all we're going to give you. Don't know which one's better. There again, more slide out cabinet doors. You still have the Dynet computer workstation. Just push on this tab. You got more electrical there. Side by side residential refrigerator with the bottom for the freezer. Ice and water dispenser. Here's another cool feature on this bus. Right now we've got the engine running. Door doesn't open. What you do is you reach up here, push this button, that releases the lock. Now it's going to open up. That way if you're driving down the road, these things have a lock on them to where they won't be coming open on you if you make a turn. And you have two of these. You got the half bath. And a lot of people ask me about that spray back, down, back there, if that's a bidet. If you want to use it for that, you just go ahead and do it. But it's mainly made for cleaning out the toilet. Central vac system. On, on the Allegro buses, you're going to go to two. You're going to have the one where you can plug in, or the other one, you can sweep right up to it, and it'll suck it in. Get back here to the bedroom. There again, a beautiful, spacious, king-size bed. You've got the fireplace in the bedroom, LG TV, sound bar underneath it, two closets on the side, solid surface all the way around it, guys, solid wood all over the place. This is quality. And if you notice, I'm walking into the bathroom now, and I didn't step up on a hump. It's a flat floor all the way back. When you get back here in the master bath, you've got two sinks. You also have two cabinets, or your wife has two. Look at the beautiful shower on this coach right here. Got a place you can sit down. It's got the shower head. You've got the skylight over the top where you can have light come in or not. The one thing I like about the 45 OPP, you got a walk-in closet also. So you walk into your closet. On the driver's side, you've got the stacked washer dryer. You've got a little place to fold back here with a built-in safe. 
then you've got more storage back here. And if you notice, those are soft closed doors. Guys, this is the Tiff and the Leg Robust. 45 OPP. I think it's probably the, well, to me, it's, I just love this coach. The one thing I didn't tell you on the outside, this coach also has two awnings on the top, Gerard. They're power. They come out. They go from cap to cap. So you have a, almost a complete 100% full wall of awning on the passenger side when you're out. You also have the door awning. Uh, they're power. You have the outside freezer slash refrigerator. Fill it up with soda, water, whatever you want. Or if you're out in Alaska in this thing where you should be, load it up with fish, freeze them, come home. Or if you're like me, put bluebell ice cream in there. Take it with you. But guys, this is the Allegro bus, 315,000 BTU ACs, 450 engine, built in Red Bay, Alabama by the great Tiffin family. If you're looking for a number one Class A luxury motor home, yes, you can spend more money, but why should you? To me, this is the Lamborghini of the RV world. Thank you, guys. Back to you, Anthony. Thank you, Race. Thank you to all the presenters today. Guys, that's it. Vod RV and Airstream at DFW's first virtual RV show. I hope everyone's enjoyed the presentations. I hope everyone's seen something they've fallen in love with. Keep in mind, guys, even though the show's ending, we're still going to have staff standing by live to answer your questions. We have the Zoom chat rooms. We have the uh, phone number you can call and talk to somebody live if you want to. Guys, we really appreciate you attending. Thank you so much for me and all of us here at Vod RV.